Hey, I'm Alex Rome, and this is how to make an awesome future bass melody. Very, very uplifting, fun to use, fun to play around with. Very simple, too. Let's get to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this little, this little drawer-looking thing. You want to click on mallet, and I found this really cool instrument. You want to click on marimba. Marimba. And we go here. And we start writing. Now, how do you make how do you make these melody? How do you make these chords? Well, it kind of goes like this. First thing you want to do is so you don't really get confused is get your BPM in the right spot now, because if you don't, then changing it later could lead to your melody just getting messed up because some melodies are just set to be a certain BPM so right now my my BPM is at 140 so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a bass line that really moves me so people ask me like how do you like where do you come up with the bass lines like how do you just know what to do well there really is no how to write a bass line it's you gotta you got you have to trust your ears for this one you have to write what sounds good. What I like to do is I like to listen to a million different songs and decide on a mood that I want to go for. And if the mood's like uplifting or like future bass, which is uplifting for me, um, probably going to look something like this. So I'm going to use that as my bass notes. Where did I get it? I just listened to a bunch of songs, and it's probably from a song I've listened to. Bass lines, they're, they're, you hear the same bass line in so many different songs. It's really hard to come up with an original bass line progression, but that's okay. That's like There's nothing wrong with that because everything you do around the bass line, that's where you come out. And um, So the bass line is simple. Just write what you want to hear right the mood you want to hear every all the mood is in the bass line that's in, in my opinion all the mood is in the bass line next thing we want to do seven semitones up that means i'm going to count seven keys up and write the next note might be wondering why do we do it seven notes up seven notes up from the bass line always works now that doesn't mean free the frequency range always works and sometimes you could be seven notes above the bass line and your bass line is down in 100 hertz that means you're going to have a muddy chord but this chord here it's not muddy because it's high enough if i had these down lower sounds like shit so if it sounds bad try to move it around see if you can get a different effect and if it still sounds bad you're not seven notes off from the, the bass notes so kind of recount keys now what I like to do is I like to add what my ear wants to hear awesome stuff now this is future bass anything's possible with future bass you can do whatever you want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the next best thing get a nice synthesizer see what happens if I put an ARP over this now this is not planned so this may or may not work already got a nice little super saw loaded up here but it's not what I want to do right now
Okay, so now we have a little pluck. Let's see if we can mix these two together. I feel like they're gonna collide, like they're gonna kind of just get mixed up in the lower f end frequencies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this saw up an octave and to do that, we just go up 12 semitones on the coarse pitch knob. What that'll do. Okay, and so now I'm gonna add some reverb to try to make this just really nice like really airy and spacey because why not for reverb I like using the presets now I never liked using presets until I found reverb presets and also found out that I'm really bad at setting my reverb up without presets so presets are awesome and then all you have to do is tweak this guy if you like the reverb it's really sweet I like it make our voice into a melody make our mamas proud I think I, I think I already have a, a, a vocal of my voice so I don't have to uh, record my voice again but if you wanted to record your own voice you go ahead and set up an audio track in here record your voice and then drop it into this you click edit and then drop it into here so see here's mine what it's me saying what I actually did this for a video before uh, that's why I have that vocal chop <laughs> but anyway um so this is gonna be a vocal chopped melody a future bass melody And then vocals, I noticed you can stick some OTT on vocals and it murders them. It makes vocals so fat and it's free. You can actually go get OTT for free. Um, just search in Google X fur, like X fur, F E R. OTT, and then you'll get that badass plugin. <laughs> you know, this is this is future bass, so we gotta we gotta take tip ah tape delay. <laughs> Now, even though OTT likes to act as a compressor, we still got all that uncompressed reverb, and we have to compress it. But after I compress, when I compress after OTT, it's usually with a loose attack and loose release. Oops. So, 
you can stop your melody here and build an entire track around that like me i'm listening to this i'm getting like so many ideas like drop some bass after it do like a bunch of cool things but like i wish i could do that right now but the name of this video is it's going to be how to make future bass melody and chords something along those lines and that's how i would do it and i would take that build an entire song around it make yourself happy anyway i hope you enjoy the video i hope you learned something my name is alex rome and until next time stay tuned for more awesome stuff